contemporaries and peers who led the ranks at the height of our political awakening, whose very footsteps I followed during street demonstrations, whose voices rang loud and clear in those uncertain times, whose courage lent me the resolve to take part in rebuilding our democracy almost from the ground up. That this stage, this podium, isn't the place for someone who in her younger years deliberately avoided center stage, preferring the quieter roles that hid her from view. Truth to be told, when I first found out about this recognition, there was a brief moment when I asked myself if I was to be deserving. This award holds a deeper meaning to me and my family because in 2012, a little more than a month before my husband Jesse died, we were both here at that time in this very hall because my husband was also named Distinguished Alumnus for Good Governance. Over the course of my life, I have been called to step into spaces and roles I never thought I was prepared for. I became a young wife and mother as my husband was starting out as city mayor, I taught economics during the day and attended law school at night, all while raising a family. After an extended journey as a law student, I became a lawyer and worked alongside the underserved. More than a decade into development work, I became a widow and a single mother who was also, who was also thrust into the political spotlight. I became a member of Congress. Then, in a most unexpected turn of events, became the 14th Vice President of the Philippines and a de facto opposition leader. Six years later, I stood as a lone woman candidate in a consequential presidential election. Sa kaso ng nurse and vlogger na si Grace, kapag napuyat, kapag stressed, na po tayo doon para Makita nyo din po pala mga kabatang helmet ang sitwasyon dito sa May Ilaya Divisoria. Kasama ko si Grace ngayon. Ayan, magbibigay na lang tayo ng konting tulong kay nanay para dahil hindi nga siya nakaka... Dito na nga mo, Gibit! Pila ko yan! One thousand! Two hundred! Kuya, ilan po kayo? Ayuda! Ayan. Ito na po yung mga food box. So kasama ko na po ang leader po ng motherly mother leader po na si Ma'am Rochelle Ho. Hello po. Thank Line. you very much po sa lahat ng mga sponsor. Over the past year, while heading a non-profit organization, I have shuffled between here and abroad to share our story with different audiences, traveling to places much, much farther than Naga and UP, and learning a lot about the world from the people I have had the privilege of meeting. This is nowhere near the life I would have envisioned for myself. But with the benefit of hindsight, I have come to embrace that this was simply a series of dots connecting, leading me where I am today, here, in front of all of you, tasked to represent a very impressive roster of UP alumni. It is truly a very humbling moment. The weight of this recognition bears heavy. Para po sa ating mga pinaparangalan ngayong gabi, ang pagkidala na ito ay bunga ng pagsisikap na ibinugos natin sa sarili-sarili nating mga larangan. Ang galing at sagisag nito ay nilinang sa atin ng UP. Kung 
kung saan itinuro sa atin ang dalawang mahalagang bagay, ang damal at husay. As UP alumni, we are expected to default to excellence. In each role, we have been called to play in whatever space we occupy. But the true mark of being scholar ng bayan does not stop there. Dahil higit pa sa kakayahan at kaalaman, hinasa tayo sa dalan, sa pagpapakatao, sa pagka-Pilipino. Ang pagkilala na tinatanggap natin ngayong gabi ay lagpas pa sa ating mga pansariling tagumpay. Bunga ito ng bukas palag na pagtaya sa atin ng sambayanang Pilipino. This is more than just a word. It is a reminder of what it means to receive a UB education, to embody the value of people-orientedness, to make this the anchor of our sense of purpose, to continue to strive to be honorable and excellent, not only for our own sake, but for our nation, to represent the best of this university and the best of the Filipino in whatever space or role we are called to take. Some po na mga kapwa ko distinguished alumni ngayong taon. Tinatanggap po namin ang parangal na ito sa ngalan ng buong UP community na lagi natin nauuwian at lagi nasasandalan sa panahon ng paninigigan. Tinatanggap po po ito sa ngalan ng lahat ng atrabaho ko bilang guro, bilang abogado, at bilang lingkod bayan. At higit sa lahat, tinatanggap namin ito sa ngalan ng sambayan ng Pilipino na patuloy na nangangarap para sa mas makatotohanan, mas patas, at mas makataong lipunan. Mabuhay po ang lahat na eskolar ng bayan. UP Fight!